In order to reach your potential and do what you're really meant to do, you're gonna need some help. You can't do this alone. You need coaching to do it. You need feedback and you need people to talk to about your fears, your insecurities, your doubts. Uh, sometimes you just need people to talk to for a reality check. The thing that struck me, really struck me and shook me uh, when I came here to Harvard Business School is I would have a student come to my office and really talk to me about a difficult situation they're going through. And the first question I normally ask them is, who have you talked to about it? And invariably, the answer is almost always no one. And what I've realized is in this hyper-connected world we live in, people don't have that many relationships. Relationship means mutual trust, mutual respect, and mutual understanding. There's an exercise and three things I think you can do to help build understanding, trust, and respect, and that is self-disclosure. In order to have a relationship with someone and have them understand you, you have to tell them something about yourself. And I don't mean something superficial, I mean something fundamental about yourself, maybe your upbringing, your parents, traumas in your life, something that would help them understand you better. And a lot of people are so buttoned up, they don't ever do that. Number two, and when I say, I call it inquiry, which means asking someone a question that would help you understand them better. How many times does a senior person of the company take a trip with, it, with subordinates and they don't learn a damn thing about them in the entire business trip? Because they never ask, they never ask, just ask questions, a lot of us are not good at that. And then the third thing is do you seek advice? Do you frame a situation that you want advice on or an area of self-doubt and ask advice? Just think how great you feel when somebody tries to seek your advice on something. I feel flattered. They're showing me a lot of respect. Now, why do I suggest doing those three things? They help people understand you better. They help you understand the person you're trying to have a relationship better. They build trust. And those three things help build relationships. And the reason I go through this in this book, you need to have relationships with people. You can't be an island. And more often than not, I find when people are struggling in their lives or have regrets, this is one ingredient that they failed to, uh, to work on. And so I'm trying to talk about how do you build a relationship so that you can actually go to work on doing it.